Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his Golden Palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. I sent you boys on ahead. We was watching you pull away from that posse, Judd. <laughs> they didn't have a chance. There ain't a horse in the country can beat mine. Here comes the law, boys. Good thing they can't cross the county line. No, but their bullets can. some real shoot. Teach you to dodge when I'm a shooting. You wouldn't, Pat. <laughs> oh, Pat. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Sherry? Oh, it's that Judd Harmon. You know, just thinking about him and his gang gives me the willies. Well, what are you worrying about? You don't even know if he's in your county. He will be when he hears about the fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, it's the payoff for that last cattle drive. The bank didn't have that much cash on hand, so they're having it brought in from Prescott. By the way, Sheriff, who's bringing that money in? Bud Kane. Bud Kane? Well, he's got five children. Yep. He said he needed the extra money he'd get for being bank messenger. Where are you going? I'm going to my ranch and phone Prescott and have Bud wait until I get there. You better go to your office. I'll phone you when we leave Prescott. Right, Roy. Come on, Sherry. Jed, did you run out of banks to hold up? I'm looking for Roy Rogers. Seems like I hit the jackpot. Heard you wore silver plated jewelry. I must say, these are mighty pretty. Likewise, here you're the best tracker in the country. Tracker? Yeah, I need one real bad, Mr. Rogers. That's why I'm asking you to come along with me. Asking? Well, let's say I'm giving you a choice. <laughs> 
Either you come with me, or I plug you. Well, it's a choice, ain't it? Under the circumstances, I guess I'll come along. Somehow I knew you'd say that. Just what is it you want me to track? Well, it's like this, Mr. Rogers. I lost my horse. Your horse? Yeah, I'd tell you all about it, but I'm in a mite of a hurry, so if you don't mind, we'll be mosey. Well, you're ready. It's all mine. say you don't need a tracker. If you don't like that white horse, why don't you ruffle a new one? Uh, you don't understand. That Palomino of yours is a fine animal. But my horse could beat him any day. Trigger thinks you're wrong, don't you, Trigger? Yeah, but he don't know my horse. It's coal black. Cross between Arab and quarter horse. Sounds fast. Fast? He's a ghost horse. Well, I wanted him so bad I even bought him. Paid hard cash for him. After you, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Take it easy, boys. We was just having a friendly tussle, weren't we, Roy? You don't mind me calling you Roy, do you? Roy, I'd like to have you meet a couple of my boys. It's Cool Wilson and Ice Perry. I think I've seen their faces before on wanted posters. Smart, ain't you? Who's he? Well, this here's Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers? <laughs> what do you know? That's the one guy in this county had me worried. Boss, you're terrific. Now that we got Rogers rounded up, we're all set to grab that 50 grand. That ain't why I brung him. He's here to find my horse. Your horse? What's the matter with you, boss? You going horse crazy? There ain't no horse worth 50 grand. This one is. It's my life insurance and a fast getaway. That bank messenger due along here this afternoon. You're risking our money. Now you get this straight, boss. We're taking that 50 grand, horse or no horse. You'll do as I say. Either of you want to argue about it? Now, I'm going to call Jerry and Prescott and make sure everything is all right. You boys take care of Roy. And remember, when I get back, I want to find him here. All in one piece. You get this straight, Rogers. We don't want you here. One move out of you and we'll fuel plug you. Then Judd wouldn't find his horse. And that'll make him awfully annoyed. Come on, Rogers, in the shack. One thing, sure, he didn't call us from Prescott like he said he would. Roy! Roy! Hey, Roy, anybody home? Sure. Look at this arrow. Well, what about it? Well, Roy wouldn't leave an arrow sticking in a checkerboard like this. Hey, look, these checkers, they form a J. Yeah, it looks like a J, all right. Judd. Judd Harmon. Judd's been here and he's got Roy. Oh, he couldn't. Why, Roy could handle him with one hand tied behind him. Unless Judd came here and took him by surprise. Oh. <laughs> Roy's no place outside. Trigger's gone. Bullet's going crazy, running around in circles. <laughs>
Rogers? Yeah. I'd like to push his face in. Me too. Only the boss said when he came back, he wanted to find him all in one piece. But if Rogers started the fight, nobody could blame us, could they? I get you. Rogers, they tell me you're pretty good in a fight. You want to take a poke at me? I don't feel like playing games. What do I do now? Insult him. Sure. Okay. Rogers, you're a lily-livered coward. You ain't got backbone enough to sit up straight in a chair. Could be. You ain't to sit there and let him call you names. He can think anything he likes. It's a free country. We can always say he started it. You just better let him have it. Now you're talking. So you won't fight here, eh, Rogers? Well, how do you like this? No! <laughs> I told you boys he was good, didn't I? You boys should not have done that. At least why not till Roy finds my horse. All right, let's go. where he's going. This old mine trail hasn't been used in years. Listen, if Bullet headed for the moon, I'd know Roy and Trigger would be on it. <laughs> okay, Bullet, we're coming. Come on. Turned him out to graze right after we crossed the border. Well, me and the boys were taking a breather. We've been chased by a posse. Yeah, on account of that bank we stuck up. Now you've gone and done it. You fixed it so as I'll have to shoot Rogers, just when I was getting to like him, too. You find something, Roy? Yeah, there's tracks of a shod horse traveling alone. Sounds like my horse. down off on that horse. He's reading ground print. Could you read a book from up here in the saddle? He couldn't read a book from anywhere. He's stalling, that's what he's doing. He's trying to make us miss that 50 grand. You heard what he said, Rogers. If you're double-crossing us. Well, there are the tracks. Read them yourself. I can't read tracks. I just make them for fellas like you to follow. Well, it looks like the shod horse joined a small band of wild ones. And they're heading towards those hills. You start counting that money, boys. Won't be long now. Well, we've been over the whole place, and there's no sign of him. Yeah, if Roy had been here, he'd have left a trail. The way Bullet rushed in there, you'd have thought Roy was hiding behind the door. Look, Roy's neckerchief. I found it under the table. That's the one I gave him for Christmas. <laughs> Bullet, I apologize. You bet we're coming, Bullet. There's a 
Where's my horse? What do you know? He's got himself a girlfriend. I'll round him up. You boys take Roy and head back to that road the messenger's traveling. I'll catch up with you later. All right, Rogers. On your way. I think I'd let you get away from me, did you, baby? Here, what's the idea? Oh, I lost my rope. Well, then get it and hurry up. He's stalling. He and the boss are getting too friendly to suit me. Yeah. But now that he's found the boss's horse, what's to keep us from shooting him? Nothing at all, Coon. Nothing at all. After him. He ain't got a gun. What a dirty trick. He's hid. Probably behind a rock. And there's millions of them. Yeah. We'll find him. Did you get him? Nah, just a jackrabbit. Shooting at who? Your boys at me. Without me telling them, I'll learn them. Where'd he get a cut? Dice! Cool! It's the boss. You boys quit fooling around, you hear me? We ain't fooling, boss. We don't want to hurt you. We're after Rogers, and we aim to get him. You'll do as I say! This is the worst spot I've ever been in. I don't want to shoot my boys. I don't mind one of them shooting you. Two against one, that ain't fair. Well, then give me a gun. I can't do that, Roy. You might shoot me. Boss, we're giving you 30 seconds to come down out of there. Looks like you're worst up, Judd. Cool's the boss now. He what? He's giving the orders, isn't he? That's what you think. Drop I've got the gun now, Judd. You oughtn't have done that, Roy. I was trying to help you. How? Uh, give me time. I'd have thought of something. Turn around. Get down. Suppose he's dead, do you? He is. He died laughing at your shoot. Maybe Roger slugged him from behind.
what now, Judd? Capture him, Pat. Oh, it was nothing. First I cornered him. Oh, he fought like a tiger. Then I get my left. Then I get my right. Then I. Then. Oh, I was chasing him and he tripped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We better see if we can find Roy. All right, you two. Let's go. Come on. Because you made him run. Trigger wanted to. He's my friend. He ran with his heart as well as his legs. You can't get the best out of a man or a horse by driving him. That's where you made your mistake, Judd. Uh, I'm beginning to think you're right, Roy. Take care of my horse for me, will you? When I get out, I may want to start raising horses. If I do, I'll come back for him. If you do, he'll be waiting for you. Well, Roy, it looks like you did what you set out to do. Bud Kane ought to be in Mineral City by now. Yeah, with that 50 grand and these five kids all safe and sound. So I still don't see how you managed to do it. I can tell you. You did it without firing a shot. I always did tell the boys you was good. You better ride with Pat. I'll pick up your horse. Okay. So long, Roy. Good luck, Judd. I don't get it, Roy. First you spend all your time gunning for that guy. Then you end up by being the best of buddies. Why not? Being mad never helped you catch your man. Yeah, you think about that, Pat. Sometime you might be able to use it. Let's get the horses, Dale. Right. Sure. You like a person, so you start chasing him. Then you catch him to show him how friendly you are. Then you... Master, Custer, I still don't get it. Happy trail to you, keep smiling until then, happy trail.